Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a multicolor trifold brochure design in PowerPoint. I have added uh, two slides here. One, this is the inside part of the brochure design where you can see here with a bright colors, uh, the, uh, the shapes there. And then I have added the company logo and the company name. And here you can add your options and if you can provide more detailed text this side. And at the bottom, you can add the social media profiles. And the second slide, which is the, the outside, the brochure design, where here you can type it, more detailed text about the company. And you can add some more pictures here or images. And you can give more options also and the year of the uh, your company brochure. And this side, you can provide the company name here. So you can see here, this is the inside of the brochure and this is the outside design of the brochure. And here I have added one more, the same thing where it is not removable. You can just change your company details only here and whatever the text you need. And once you have finished this one, simply you can just go to file, save as, just select a PDF and from where you want to save this one you can just select more options for example i want to just put it into the the desktop and i will just give a multicolor brochure design and just click the save you can select the standard and i'll just say open after publishing click save Here you can see here this particular PDF file is ready. This is the page one. This is the page two is just give this file to your printer and get it printed. So let's see how we can create this beautiful multicolor trifold brochure design in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to design, slide size, select custom slide size. And from the drop down, select A4 size and orientation, keep it landscape and say OK. Then go to insert shapes, select a rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle to the left of the slide and width I'm going to make as 3.62. shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to add two more rectangles by pressing ctrl d press ctrl d to duplicate change the color and i'm going to change the color later on again press ctrl d and give some different color so here we have added three rectangles then go to insert shapes add one more rectangle something like this and give some different color and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to make it somewhat curvy for that right mouse click go to format shape or go to fill I'll just make it somewhat transparent so that I know what's happening, how it is coming and these three colors rectangle and I'm going to fill this with white color. So this is white. So I'm going to take this right mouse click, just say edit points and here I'm just going to reduce the size a little bit. And here you can see this particular white square, small one. Just drag this here outside and select this particular point and drag this upwards. Okay, so you got a shape here already, a good, nice, uh, like a uh, wave. Then I'm going to select this and change the color. 
now before selecting the colors make the transparency level to 0% and under fill select gradient fill you got this options you have got four stops so let me just delete the four stops and the first stop i am going to select eyedropper and i will select this a pink color and then second one i am going to select this rose color and third i am going to select the orange color or the gold color and direction i am going to select something like this okay and then i'm going to add one more shape which is the right triangle draw the right triangle shape outline make it no outline and rotate you can just say flip vertical and right mouse click just say edit points or before that one I'm just going to make this particular shape to match with this one then right mouse click edit points and select the top this particular point and drag it inside and this also select here and drag it inside something like this and this color I'm going to give a gradient fill but only two stops so i'm going to delete one stop the first stop will be a dark color blue color which is this one and here i'm going to give a somewhat lighter blue color here you can see here this particular shape is ready now let me just give a light color here so that it will be visible for us what is happening so now the top part is done i'm going to go for the the bottom part to add the bottom you can just select this press ctrl d to duplicate bring it smaller so that it comes only to the and then go to format rotate and just say flip vertical and then you just say flip horizontal so two times I said flip vertical and flip horizontal so it will be something like this and you can change the direction the colors so this should start again with like this and one more thing right mouse click just say edit points i'll make this one some more down so it will be something like this and then i'm going to add one more the other side for that again i'm going to copy this press ctrl d to duplicate and give the same background uh, the color which is blue so i'm going to use select the blue go to format painter and click on this one so it becomes a blue and here i'm just going to put it there right mouse click edit points reduce the size and increase it here something like this let me just increase this one And then I'm just going to reduce the size and send this to back or bring this to front go to format and bring to front so you can see here our design is almost ready let me just reduce a little bit further yes so you can see here our design is ready now we have to add the text and all the icons or something uh, pictures or images if you want now let's add company logo and some text so i'm just going to paste my company logo and i will paste it here 
and below that I'm going to just type the company name go to insert text box type the company name I'm going to select the font which is century gothic and font color I'm going to make it white and make it bold I'll just say company name center aligned and you can increase the size so here your company name has come and press ctrl d this text and move here reduce the size left align and you can type your some text here if you have some heading or something like that just we can add it here this side and then in between also the center page of the brochure you can just add your heading here let me just reduce the size or if you want you write you can write your content or whatever and then in the center you can add some icons to add the icons you can go to insert icons and this is available only in office 365 or office uh, powerpoint 2018 maybe and this required uh, active internet connection so just select any three objects from it it's taking a time today I think the internet is slow okay so let me just select this one this one and this one and just insert so you can see here it's downloading and it's downloaded 3 1 and you can select all these three and you can give same dark blue color here and place it reduce the size or you can make it a uh, some oval shape and add it also and then you can insert your own text here I'll just select press ctrl D sorry and the same I may use or uh, maybe a gray color and title 01 and below you can add some more text I'll just say type your detail text here and then select the title and the detail text make sure that it is aligned properly align left and control G to group it and control D to duplicate and paste it here this is the title 2 and this is the title 3 and again select this make sure again it is aligned properly and then you can add some more detailed text here for that I'll just go to insert text I'll just equals LORM what in brackets 1 it will give you some Latin text century gothic 
reduce the size justified and if you have any heading also you can just add your heading here so bottom part I'm going to just add the social media profiles like uh, LinkedIn or Instagram or Facebook or YouTube whatever and again on this side I'm just going to copy the text and if you have some images also you can just add the images here so here you can see here the design is ready let me just remove this one format shape uh, fill make it white only and that's it you just need to save this as PDF I have mentioned earlier and you can print it both side the inside and the outside that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye